It is yet another Monday with five minutes with Sean, maybe 10. I'm telling you, we like to come out here, be very consistent, right? So we're here every week. Um, And I did that originally because of today's word. Today's word is accountability, my friends. That's what we're talking about. When we started Carb is Done Better, it was absolutely the founding principle of what we were trying to accomplish. Originally, it was about holding vendors accountable to what they said they were going to do for the dealers and making sure that the money was spent as it was supposed to, right? So along the way, you realize that accountability becomes taking accountability for mistakes, taking accountability for activities that, you know, were positive, taking accountability for the, everything is, is to me, it boils down to accountability, whether it's you working for someone, whether it's me working with someone, I, I really do not care. What is most important is to take accountability, uh, especially in the moments where there it's needed, right? Where it's obviously uh, here. I'll tell it to you like this. I have worked my ass off for the last, I would say, roughly 20 years trying to make myself, because I believe accountability starts at home, okay? Making myself more accountable to me and to who I want to be and to what I believe in. And that can strain things along the way, my friends, whether that's with friends, family, anybody. Being accountable and making yourself accountable will will almost uh, immediately and intentionally make you look around and expect and appreciate accountability from those in your circle. And so when it happens, for me, when I make a mistake, I do my very damnedest to to take accountability for it, to take front. And... When I get frustrated, what 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 motivates me to get frustrated, if you will, is the idea that accountability is sort of at convenience. And I don't think true accountability can be when it's convenient. And I think a lot of people want to believe that they're accountable. But their accountability typically comes with a lot of finger pointing. And as my mom always used to say, when one points out at least three, she'd always say four, but the thumb really doesn't. But how many fingers point back, right? Where does the real issue reside? It's probably true. It's probably true. Um, and to me, I'm I'm trying to make sure that accountability is the reason people know – what it is what we do because i think it immediately in our industry it scares people to hear that right the idea of being accountable the idea of the accountability company um i mean it's it's something that you take seriously we used to print it on the back of the shirts man it was the logo up front and it was um oh man what was it it was uh Success or accountability or something to that effect, um, but it was it was on the back of the shirts, man, uh, and it was it was it was awesome. It was to us again. We think that the easiest way forward, and that's as a company, you know, there's not many people in this company. So when when shit does hit the fan, we all need to take accountability for it, and we all need to find a way to be nimble and overcome it and keep moving, right? And so that's. That's where it gets interesting because I think accountability is something that is a learned skill that I believe. I know that because I have learned it uh, as a 20 something young man, 18, 19, 20 something. And uh, accountability, not really high on the list of words I would use to describe myself. Um, But as soon as we started doing this, uh, I knew that accountability was going to be paramount. And if I was going to talk about it as a company, as a pillar, then I needed to obviously make it a part of who I was, who I am. Um, And accountability is not always, uh, as I said, a a fun thing. Um, As a matter of fact, it rarely is fun because if you're having to be accountable for something, it's typically a bad thing. Um, But the same can be said about, to me, good things. I think there is accountability to be had in that, that you – Hold yourself accountable for having created that 
And that's that's good. That's a good thing that you created something positive. And still holding yourself accountable for knowing your good and your bad, I think is 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 a is a delicate balance. I don't think it really gets thought about very much. You probably hear me say it, and you're like accountability. You probably also kind of tie it to a being accountable for something you have done in a negative light. And I believe that there is positive accountability to to encourage yourself that you did do it and that you can do it. Um, I think that enough people, when they think about accountability, they think about how to um, displace blame. And that isn't accountability. If it's if, if if the word is followed by but, or if it's moved by but, then it isn't true accountability. And I think in business, true accountability can be difficult. But right now in our industry, it's absolutely fucking paramount, absolutely paramount to hold each other accountable, to hold vendors accountable, because we are back, as I had on the show a couple of weeks ago, we are back in the car business. This is time to have big, big, big discussions about what's up, okay? This isn't a sort of, you know, like this isn't the time to start letting things slide. This is about really digging in. I mean, probably let things slide the last four years. And I think now that's really where we have to start to dial in the thought process is what, where do we go next with this? And I know that accountability is a buzzword, but here it's, it's an ethos. You know what I mean? It's a real word. It's it's the word. Um, excellence through accountability. See, I know I remember that shit. Excellence through accountability. On the back of the shirts, they should still be the slogan today. Um, but we don't need a slogan because we don't advertise in that way anymore. Uh, so, and, and we're fortunate to not have to. Um, but when it comes to accountability as a CEO, and I use that term extremely loosely, like that is for business cards and LinkedIn profiles uh, around here, because we all do whatever work is necessary to get us to the finish line and be successful as a company and be sure that we all get to work with each other as, as opposed to for someone else. Um, and that's another how we hold ourselves accountable interior, right? I have two business partners, my wife uh, and best friend of over 20 years, and then my actual best friend uh, of over 30 years. Um, and we do this shit together. Um, and we have our head of social, Jeff Hunter, and we have other pieces that come in and come out, but it's still, this is how small of an organization we are, but we get a lot done. We touch a lot of different spaces because we hold each other accountable. And when I'm out of line, my team holds me accountable. And I like to think that I come with them and I take ownership of my shit and I say that to them. Um, so it's, it's not just a word. It's a whole fucking lifestyle as far as I'm concerned. And I do it at every single turn, um, whether it's at a neighbor, or at a bowlingly it doesn't matter if i if i have been the root of a problem or if i have made a mistake i am going to bring that forward now you should also know this about me on my accountability path if i have not made a mistake and you believe that i have we're going to have fundamental differences that probably can't be gapped and that's if if i go to the accountability mat and you believe that there is more to be accountable for Trust me when I tell you, I've probably fessed up faster than most, and I'm not going to just keep adding to it to make people feel better. I have accountability with, uh, with, with true results, and I think that's the biggest part for me. So think about it. Think about it in your own life. Think about it in your home life. Think about it in your work life. How does accountability truly play in to your day-to-day? -day? And uh, let's have a conversation about it. Let's keep the conversation about accountability alive because it's important for all of us, okay? Thank you guys so much. Go out, have a, a great rest of your week. Next week on the show, a little Mental Health Monday because it's been a second. We'll talk to you then.